This is Daily Armenia, Civil Nets Daily News Digest. Here's what's making headlines in Armenia today. Armenian Parliament Speaker Alan Simonian met with his Turkish counterpart Numan Kurtulmuş in Geneva yesterday to discuss bilateral relations and normalization talks between Yerevan and Baku, according to a press release published by the Armenian Parliament. Simonian presented Armenia's initiative to open the long shuttered transport links with Turkey and Azerbaijan, known as the Crossroads of Peace project, and stressed the need for continued communication, adding, Armenia is fully committed to establishing lasting peace. A meeting between Simonyan and his Azerbaijani counterpart, Sahiba Gafarova, was also planned, but it was cancelled by the Azerbaijani side at the last minute. The Armenian parliament indicated that Simonyan would offer further clarification on the matter upon his return to Yerevan. This came just two weeks after Simonyan commented on the Azerbaijani president Ilham Aliyev's statement about the return of Azerbaijanis to the so-called Western Azerbaijan, that is, Armenia. Simonyan remarked that Azerbaijan's search for its ancestral homeland might lead lead them as far as the Altai Mountains, referring to the region divided between modern-day Russia, Kazakhstan and Mongolia that is believed to be the place of origin of all Turkic peoples. Simonian also stressed that the normalization agreements must confirm that both Armenia and Azerbaijan have no territorial claims and agree to stick to their internationally recognized borders, stating, Armenia is Armenia and Azerbaijan is Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan's president Ilham Aliyev dismissed Armenia's recent proposal to sign an interim normalization agreement based on the already agreed upon provisions yesterday, stressing that all sections of the treaty are of equal importance. Armenia's intention to sign what has already been agreed and leave the non agreed provisions for another round is an unrealistic and strange proposal, he said as he spoke to Belgium's new ambassador to Azerbaijan. During the same meeting, Aliyev criticized the European Union's observer mission stationed on the Armenian side of the border, saying that the mission had created distrust in Azerbaijan's relations with the EU. Various Azerbaijani and Russian officials and media have accused the mission of gathering intelligence and preparing provocations ever since it was launched last January. In other news, Azerbaijan's defense minister Zakir Hasanov instructed the country's armed forces to maintain a high level of combat readiness on Saturday, citing the threat of what he described as revanchist forces in Armenia and stressing the need to remain vigilant until the normal normalization agreement is signed. Negotiating the normalization deal, Baku has repeatedly set numerous demands toward Yerevan that include preconditions related to land concessions, a transport link to connect mainland Azerbaijan with its Nakhichevan exclave through Armenian territory, the dissolution of the inactive Minsk group set up in the 1990s to solve the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, and amendments to Armenia's constitution, among others. Amid the diplomatic standoff, Russia has also expressed frustration. Moscow brokered the ceasefire that declaration that ended the war in Nagorno-Karabakh in 2020, but now finds its influence waning as Armenia leans toward Western allies. Russian officials, including Deputy Prime Minister Alexei Overchuk, have recently criticized the lack of progress in restoring regional transportation links, signaling further strain in Armenian-Russian relations. You can also read the latest op-ed by our regular contributor Tikran Grigorian, the head of the Regional Center for Democracy and Security, a Yerevan-based think tank. In this piece, Grigorian reflects on why anti-government movements fail in Armenia and explains why Armenia needs a competitive political landscape to keep up the momentum in its development as a democracy. You can read the full op-ed on our website at civilnet.am or by following the link in the video description below. And finally, the civil net number of the day is 215. This marks 215 years since the birth of Armenian educator and author Hachatur Abovyan, who played a key role in modernizing Armenian literature. He is renowned for his novel titled Wounds of Armenia, the first to be written in the modern Armenian vernacular, helping bridge the gap between classical Armenian, known as Grabar, and the spoken language of his time. Abovyan's influence extended beyond literature, as he was also an advocate for educational reforms in Armenia. Notably, he participated in the first ascent of Mount Ararat in 1829 that is officially documented in modern history. This expedition included German explorer Friedrich Barrett, a group of Russian servicemen and two local Armenian villagers. The place and time of Abovian's death remain an unresolved mystery as he disappeared after leaving his home in 1848, with circumstances surrounding his fate still unclear. 
And as always, please follow Civilnet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground here in Armenia.